Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to discuss hexadecimal to binary encoding. So in the previous lecture, we have already talked about octal to binary encoder. In octal system, we have eight different symbols. In hexadecimal, we will be having 16 different symbols. So the 16 different symbols, if we make the representation of 16, any number which is in hexadecimal, we have base or radix as 16, right? So when we convert this into a binary, then in binary we have radix as 2. So that means only two symbols are allowed. Now, if, when we want to convert 16 different values in binary, we require 4 bits. So, that is also very well known, right? So, let me draw a truth table. So, let's say we are having Sixteen different symbols. So I'm starting from here like this. So let's say I'm writing like this. So if I represent, let's say, the number 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, rather than 10, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have these symbols. Now there will be four different outputs. So four different output like any name you can assign like Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. So I am representing let's say there are four outputs like this. So we have y3, y2, y1, y0, right? So that means we are going to have this encoder as 16 cross 4, 16 cross 4. So if we draw it, it will look like there will be 16 lines. So let's say there is an encoder. Which will have there will be input lines like dot 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 there will be 16th line here an output line will be 4 only 1 2 3 and 4 ok so let's say it is 0 1 2 dot 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 it will be F and here we may have Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0 right so this is the encoder now when we write it we make all these places one by one high so let's say if 0 is there and rest of the places are 0 let's say like this this zero will be represented as all zero right similarly when we have one here all remaining places are zero so that will be represented as zero 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 one when we have one here so these remaining places are zero let me let me write it like this i can have it 
like this we can have okay and the next is like this it will clarify i think right like this so here when we have this two as high remaining places are zero so two will be represented like zero zero one zero in binary right similarly when we have let's say three is high so this place this place is high that is three and three will be represented in binary zero zero one one right similarly for next place like four so when this is high then we will represent zero one zero zero that is four similarly for five so this place is high then we will represent zero one zero one that will represent five similarly for six so when this is high then six will be represented as zero one one zero similarly then seven when we represent seven here this place is high that is seven seven can be represented as zero one 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 right then eight so let's say eight is this when this is high eight will be represented one and then three zeros then let's say ninth input is high this place is having value high then nine will be represented like one zero zero one similarly for ten so if this is high this will have ten will rep have represented one zero one zero right ten means a right so when a is high when b is high b means eleven so when this place is high b 11 means 1 0 1 1 right when c is high so when this place is high that is representing c c means 12 so 12 means 1 1 0 0 now when D is high, then we represent this place as high, and then it is 13, so it is 1, 1, 0, 1, and then let's say next two places are left. So if we represent like this place as high, now this is 14 actually, so 14 will be 1. 1 1 0 and then 15 so let's say this is high then it will give us 1 1 1 1 as of so i hope this table is clear remaining place they are zero so i am not writing it this diagonal elements these are diagonal elements are high okay so please do remember now when you write the expression or let's say y3, y2, y1. So you write like this y3. So for y3, these places are high. So that means this is from 8 till f, it is high. So either 8 is high or 9, 10, 10 means a, b, c, d, e, or f. Right? So all these places are high starting from 8 for y2 y2 is these four places and then last four places are high so this these four means 4 5 6 7 so it is 4 
और फाइव और सिक्स और सेवन लास्ट फोर लास्ट फोर इज हाई सो लास्ट फोर मीन्स सी डी ई एफ सी डी ई एन एफ सिमिलरली वाई वन यू कैन राइट एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वाई वन सो वट इज वाई वन वाई वन इज हैविंग दीज टू है दीज टू है दीज टू है दीज टू सो दिस इज टू थ्री सो टू और थ्री देन दिस इज दिस इज सिक्स सेवन सो सिक्स और सेवन प्लस दीज टू सो दिस इज ए बी and remaining these things so this is ef and for y0 we can write easily so y0 is having one or all alternative ones right so starting from 1 so it is having 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus b plus d plus f Plus means or operation. So these are the equation for this. Now once you have this, you can draw the circuit. So there will be sixteen input lines, and you will be having OR gates. So there will be four OR gates, and every OR gate can handle these many of inputs. And you can connect these lines as we have connected in the uh, in case of octal to binary conversion. So if we want to draw the circuit for these y1, y2, y3, and y0, circuit we can draw like this. So we can see that there are 16 input lines like this. I am drawn. We can give them number from 0 to f. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. then a b c d e and f now these are the outputs which we are going to represent so let's say this is y3 y2 y1 and this is representing y3 now we connect all this so if you look at Y three, it is eight nine A B C. So it is started from eight, and all other till F is connecting. So it is starting from eight. Eight is somewhere here. So it is connecting from here. Eight is connected. Then nine. Then A. B, then C, then D, E, then F. So this is why. Now similarly, when you look at The y two it is four five six seven c d e f so four five six seven c d e f you connect four is here so you connect four from here you connect like from here four then five then six. Then seven. Then last four. So we have C here. We can connect C. Then D. Then E. Then F. So this is your Y two. Now similarly, look at y one. 
y1 is 2 3 6 7 then a b e f 2 3 6 7 a b e f so you connect 2 3 6 7 2 3 is given here so this is 1 and this is 2 you connect with 2 3 then you go to 6 this is 5 this is 6 this is 6 and this is 7 2 3 6 7 and then a b e f a is given somewhere here this is a then b b is given here this is b then e is here this e and then this is f right so this is your y1 now what is y0 1 3 5 so all alternative starting from 1 so let's say this is 1 then it is 3 then it is 5 then it is 7 it is 9 then it is A it is C Last F. Right. So this is hexadecimal to binary encoder. I hope this encoder is clear. Thank you everyone for connecting. See you in the next class.